it's new. The world's gonna end this year, I'm calling it right now. It's not gonna end this year. Happy January, it's 70 degrees outside. We had a tornado yesterday. Die out, a different animal will come out on the other end, evolved into something else. It's snowing. It rained all day. All day. Fuck, oh, I killed him. Hey, mamacita. I don't feel real. Oh my god. I smoke crack. And play the violin. <laughs> it's been a few days now since I found out that I have COVID. It is Tuesday, January 11th, and we are getting kicked out of my mom's house today. Or at least being told that we're being kicked out. I'm not sure when they're gonna make us leave. It's 11.34 p.m. It's January 31st. I'm almost positive the last thing that I said to my camera was, we're being kicked out of the house. As you can see, I'm still in the house, so be calm. However, I've had a horrible fucking month. I've had a horrible fucking start to 2022. I don't want to really disclose all of that on the internet because I think it's a little bit too much. But like how horrible it's been, like it's still a little too much. We all know how I feel about 30 second long month videos. That's not my favorite thing that happens. And it usually happens when there is a impressive downcline dip in my mental health which is exactly what happened so some things i do feel comfortable sharing is I started working two jobs i basically cried for like two weeks straight um i had covid at some point i don't know if i told you that all of this horrible stuff happened during covid after covid i was having panic attacks that were so intense that i think they surpassed the threshold for what a panic attack is and i basically just no called no showed my other job which ended up i think being a blessing in disguise because all of my coworkers were really nice but my boss was fucking weird and that job was boring as hell i'm already making more money at the other place that i'm working with i like being there much more and i like the people that i work with much much more I was gonna go get my CNA license, but I'm so mentally exhausted from the fucking hell that this month has been that I don't think I can handle doing the multiple things at once right now. The plan is for me and my wife both to work our asses off until we have the money to get a place of our own. Sometimes this is just life. The older I get, the less people that I see or I have to film or hang out with, and the more my life is currently uh, things that are horrible. And there's a lot of mental health stuff that I'm struggling with right now and I'm not against constantly crying and filming it because that is like real and it is a part of my life but I've been at a mental point that's so low that I don't have the time to be like oh I'm having a fucking panic attack because horrible things are happening let me pick up my camera I know none of you that actually watch these are disappointed I like having this stuff to look back on I guess it's harder to do when I know that the memories hurt but also, sometimes the good memories hurt too, because most of those good memories now are bittersweet. Can't promise that I'll do any better in February. I don't know what's gonna happen in February. I guess we are just gonna see. My hair is faded to a pink color. I've lost a lot of weight from stress, and I've mostly been waking up, going to work, coming home, going to bed. I don't know who you are, I don't know where you are, and I don't know why you're watching this, but I hope you're having a better time. Than I am. I love you and I appreciate that you care about me. I really have needed the people in my life who have been here for me. All this shit is going on and that's no shade to other people who just don't have the ability to be there. That's fine, I get it. And also this is so much that I don't really feel comfortable just putting that on anybody or everybody. There's actually only two people that I told the full extent, not counting Cheyenne, everything that's going on. So I don't know that Reagan watches my videos, but I know that Chris does and I love you. I love both of you very much. I will say I've definitely learned some things about myself just in the past month and it's that I am a fighter. I am and I'm very brave and I don't think I even like these qualities about myself. Shit has been not good. Shit has been not good. I'll see you next month. Bye, I'm sorry. Please, February, I'm begging you, February. Are you aware that we have to get up? <laughs> Are you aware that you have to also drive? <laughs> Why? <laughs>
Let's get down. Spoons. Spoons. Probably until it uh, dies. No, I, I hit record. Oh. <laughs> a wise woman once said, when I moved out of my house, my grandfather came to my apartment to put my shower head up for me because he thought I was too stupid to do it. Well, I put that shower head up, but I have something else now. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been since that video came out, but it's been some time. And it is February. Who's stupid now, Grandpa? <laughs> Before we get started here today, I would like to say, in memory, Who's stupid now, Grandpa? And also I would like to say, But my pussy will rip, Mom! What I don't like about this is it needs to be measured. It depends on how tall this area is. I think we both know. I'm not measuring anything. I think like that's the size of a ruler. not make sense. Sometimes in life you must ask yourself, hmm? What? <laughs> no. Ow, for the ah. It is Thursday, February 24th, 2022. This entire year has been kind of bullshit and it's not even March yet. I am making a scrapbook pretty in-depth to detail my life. That's something that I like doing. I think I've abandoned Tumblr at this point. But some of the things that have happened have been just a little bit too much to post on social media. You know, I think January, when I'm filming, ends with me being like, uh, my mom just kicked us out of the house. And then so many bad things happened. I like did not pick my camera up because I was not good. I don't know what the fuck I did <laughs> or why the universe is like treating me like this this year. I thought, you know, things were gonna calm down a little bit. The shit at work is fucking insane. Absolutely batshit crazy and horrendous and stupid. Sometimes I think it would have been easier to just stay in my hometown with my grandpa, being sad for other reasons, hating my job there. Sometimes taking risks and doing things that scare you uh, gets annoying after a while. Can't change the things that I did and I have to keep going and go forward and if things keep going the way that they are, I don't know what the fuck is left that could happen. And I'll keep you updated sometime. 